Well, I don't exactly know how to start off this vlog, but your boy's in Vegas at SEMA. Um, my first time ever at SEMA, my first time ever at Vegas, and all I have to say is I am completely and totally overwhelmed. And I am very jet lagged. I think right now back home, it's 4.30 in the morning and I'm awake walking around thinking about trying to get lunch and I just, everything in my body tells me to go to sleep. It's weird. But, we're at SEMA. Let's go check out some cool stuff. I know a lot of you guys in the States are used to this, but this is so mind blowing to me. It's pretty much Tokyo Auto Salon, but on drugs. Like, it's actually ridiculous. So I've been spending a bunch of time doing the whole business thing, talking to a bunch of companies and sponsors and whatnot. But one thing that I've noticed has become kind of a trend here is a lot of electric converted um, old muscle cars. It just feels so wrong, but it kind of looks so right. I just like that it's new technology combined with old technology. I think it's just a cool factor of that, but it's wild. At least they make kind of like the, I mean, is this the battery box of the front here? I don't even know, I guess it is, but at least it kind of looks cool. It looks like you have something in the engine bay instead of a bunch of wires. But, each to their own. Gotta quickly stop by the Valvoline booth because I wanna check out Rob Dumb's RX-7. Oh my God, dude. Does he need a turbo that big? Does he want some turbo with his radio? I think his turbo might be bigger than his end motor. The diff is crazy. This is insane seeing this in real person. Maybe we'll get to talk to him later. He's busy with uh, fans, I think, but the color choice looks nice kind of reminds me of like the old um was it midnight purple 2 on the 33s it's got like that deep kind of green color finally a car that i actually know about this thing is very unique the attention to detail on this is ridiculous obviously full efi conversion it looks amazing um i see a dry sump pump down there too which is crazy very very clean Nice to see how Koska's over here looking that great. So just before, we gave Rob Dobbs some love, but we gotta give TJ some love too. This is so good. I love seeing my friends killing it. Love the green light under there too. His Vilside RX-7 is amazing. The Blitz 03s are such a nice touch. The racing green, oh wow, it's actually got a ton of flake in there. Hard to see, but I really like this. I'm glad that he didn't do the typical like orange and black. He went with something nicer. I did, I dig it. It's unique, it's great. Good job, TJ, love seeing your stuff. Do you want some engine with your supercharger? Jeez. That's possibly the coolest thing I've ever seen. Just oh my god, TJ! You must, yeah. TJ, yeah, TJ, oh my god! Yeah, Let me Why? touch you! I'm in the sand! TJ! I'm in the sand! TJ! When did you get in? Yesterday? Yesterday, Today? yesterday. Flew in at mid midnight, 12.30. It was great. Tired? Very tired. I feel I, like you did, like two weeks ago. Yeah, seriously. Is that yeah. that long ago Welcome. now? Welcome. No, it was, was, like, was it two weeks ago? I don't know, I can't remember. I'm jet lagged. I don't think it was two weeks ago. I think it was like a week and a half ago. <laughs> Dude, I saw your uh, Vilside RX-7. Do you like it? Killer. Thank you. Perfect. Love the green. Th see? Thank you. Love the green. Thank you. Love it. It was like, stop doing green. I'm like, no, I'm never stopping, baby. It's like, I feel like you, you love the color so much, so you're painting like all these cars that color, and then you find out, oh, you know what, maybe I don't like that car that much, so you sell it. That's what happens. Right? See that, that, see? That's what it's, I get that. Said, if I paint it green, I sell it. Yeah. It's not true. You just love that color and you think you're going to love the car. Color is the best thing in the world. I'm yep. going gonna, gonna to paint. You know how you are with pink? Yep. Everything's going green? Kind of. I have two more cars coming in this year that are both that color. <laughs> <laughs> this is my new car, Sam. Yeah. Honest, oh, excuse me, miss. Honest yes. thoughts on this car. Oh, I, it's better than the white one. That's for sure. Yeah. Better than the... <laughs> Sam, did you hear what Kevin said? No. Tell him. So this car right here, he went in the fast and furious show car trip. My friend DJ, he made it, he made it green. My boyfriend DJ, we oh, built this car. car. Wait, wait, your boyfriend my DJ? Bo my boyfriend DJ. Oh my gosh. This is car. Sometimes, sometimes <gasps> they hold hands. Oh my god. Only sometimes. sometimes they hold hands. Only sometimes. This guy stole my bike. He's literally got my bike in the back of his truck. That's actually kind of a cool bike. Yeah, that's actually baller. Right, that's me, right? 
Look, I'll put it. Look, even the straps Look. are pink. Hair. It kind of matches, hey. right? Is this for you? Dude, I think so. I think I it's think mine. I think yeah. I think it was made just for you. Exactly. Get on it. Get on it. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Oh, it's so cool. Wait. It's amazing. This is. It's so small. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't know this was a thing. Apparently, this is called the Tesla Tunnel, and I'm confused. I'm still mind blown by this. It's this crazy. So what? Elon built yes. this? Yep. He did it himself. Like the idea is that it's supposed to be an autopilot. You go like 80 miles. Yeah. So that that, that was a work, but they haven't done it yet. That Wait, so it original. doesn't do autopilot? No, no, they have to drive it through. But the original plan was for the cars to just kind of pull up, you hop in, and then them take off to because there's. Like fully automated, there. so like no driver. Yeah, no driving at all. Oh, oh my god, yo, DJ would be happy with these doors. Go front seat? Really? Yep. Wait, oh no, there's someone in there. Oh wait, wait, that's, the, it's America. People are on the left hand side here. I'm so confused. Hi, my name's Sam. I got the doors, I got the doors. What, what? You're Sam? Hit the door button. No, no she, she got, she got, it. got oh. it. All right, headed to oh, South Station, so correct? Yep. So this is my friend Sam's first time in the Tesla. Hi, Hi I'm freaking out of it. This oh. is this is. <laughs> wait, the tunnels have underglow? Yeah, and they change. Keep watching. It's Sponsored cool. by Type S, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is sick. It's so skinny though. I feel like I'm driving like Japan Tokyo roads because it's so tiny. Do people ever like hit the sides? That's what I. Do you know what the first thing I asked the guy? I, the first time I went in, I was like, "Can this thing go up on the side?" He goes, "You're the third person to ask me that today. I've never been asked before." I said, "You want to know why?" A bunch of car guys yeah here. yeah 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 this is cool how cool is this this is wild i can't believe this exists yeah this is peak technology yeah, yeah. Wait until they start driving themselves through here what's the speed limit through here right now it's 25 but normally it's 40. Normally 40? 40? Yeah. Why is it oh, 25 we now? The other one. Yeah. We were ripping so the other day. We have so many cars in the system, yeah, sure. and then there's, uh, you know, we gotta make sure we're oh. being safe and stuff like that. So can anyone who owns a Tesla drive in here? No. no. Oh. Well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so it goes from just like convention center to convention center, so you don't have to walk. Ah, that's super cool. Yeah. The seat's definitely cool. Resort World is also open. The only thing is you have to walk across the lot at a West Station. Okay. So this is the cutting wheel that they cut the uh, the tunnels with. Super cool. And uh, we got dropped off in the completely wrong place. As Kevin would put it, we went in the wrong hole. You have no idea how excited I am to see a Japanese car here. This looks fire, Grant. It does look very nice. I like it. Very clean. Let's have a quick squiz in the engine bay. Nice, nice. I like it. I like it. A lot of carbon stuff going on. Looks like a hydro dipped valve cover. Has a good stance. It, it, yeah, dude, it's fitment's nice. Nice, like, sticky tires, too. Yeah. It's beautiful. The paint is amazing. Not bad. Not bad. I dig it. I love the dash, it doesn't have a bubble in it. Beautiful. So we are kind of finishing up now, I guess, for today. But things are gonna get really interesting tonight. I have a dinner tonight with the guys at Garrett, and then after that, we're gonna be meeting up with everyone again, and uh, probably getting my first gambling experience in here at Vegas. This is like, I can't like express to you how one, overwhelming Vegas is, my first time in Vegas, and then two, how overwhelming SEMA is. This is like 10,000 times more than what I would expect to see at Tokyo Auto Salon, and it's so good. Like, I have to say, like, if you're a car person, you have to experience SEMA um, at least once. I know that they just started, like, opening it up to the public on Fridays for public day. So make sure you guys do try to come and experience this. That's definitely something you should be doing. But just everything here is awesome. So overwhelming. Me. And I'm jet like, yes, Grant, you are <laughs> awesome. Your, your mullet is awesome. Love that. He's a big hair guy. We're both actually uh, yeah, I'm super jet -lagged. big hair guys. Oh, I thought you were talking about jet lag. Jet lag? Nah, you're not jet lagged. Oh, no, I'm not. I didn't just do the same thing you did. I'm not jet lagged. No, you're fine. I'm fine. Someone told me to look under these trucks because you'll see like there's no... Oh, yeah, yeah. Diff's not connected. This one's connected, though. This one's connected. Huh, just that one, I guess. These are so cool. 
Do you think they'll make one in pink for me? I bet there is a pink one. Yo, is that <laughs> traffic? Yeah. Yikes. LA is something else. This isn't LA. What is this? We're not in LA. What? Look at that. Tim, look at that thing Wait, you, so you could just, you could actually set it to be like a lean, uh, a tilted truck or yeah, whatever you can then? set that to whatever, whatever stance you want. All right. Dude, this is wild. Oh. Like, we haven't even, like, seen more than one haul today. This is so wild. Just going for a walk with Charles. You guys might re recognize him from Motion Auto's channel. Yes, sir. And uh, we just had a really good time hanging out with everyone, but uh, I haven't walked the strip yet. So we're out here walking the strip. Beautiful weather. I'm just mind blown by everything. Is there a roller coaster there? Yeah. Yeah, you can ride the roller coaster around the Statue of Liberty and everything. That's sick. I'm so mind blown by Vegas, and I, I haven't even like looked at everything it's yet. It's surreal, like it, it truly is. Whoa, just the lights, like it's mega Tokyo vibes, it's great. It's like a, dude, that looks like a Disney castle, what? That's so cool. That's wild. Oh man, it looks even crazier up here down the strip. This is the hotel room, guys. I'm staying in a place called the Tropicana. The view's kind of nice. I don't mind it. We get to see uh, the main strip out there. So we're off main strip, but it's cool because we get to see the Statue of Liberty there and the roller coaster and MGM and stuff. It's, it's a pretty sick view in the morning. But definitely next year, I'm gonna pick a much nicer hotel. Uh, first time in Vegas, first time at SEMA, and I had no idea what I was getting myself involved in. And I want something definitely closer to the convention center and something a lot nicer too. This place is pretty old now. It's not bad, still a four-star hotel, but uh, it's definitely pretty old and it's a little bit difficult to get to from um, where uh, the convention center is and stuff. And it just makes things easier not having to Uber everywhere, right? Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my first video here at SEMA. Let me know, do you guys wanna see daily vlogs from this? Like my experience at SEMA um, and Vegas? Like, I think it's gonna be pretty interesting. I think tomorrow night we're gonna be probably out late with everyone. And I think after I go to bed tonight, I'll be reset with the whole jet lag because I've been feeling weird all day and it's been kind of hard to be my normal, like upbeat kind of self. <laughs> It's been funny, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are excited for maybe some more Vegas and SEMA content. Let me know if you wanna see daily content. I'm curious, might as well do it while we're here. Um, I got nothing else to do and I'm here for the whole week, so I think it'll be sick. Thanks for watching guys, peace out, Jamata. Just oh my God, die, you might, yeah. TJ, TJ, oh my God, let me Hi. touch you. TJ, I need the TJ, I need the TJ, this guy right here, he will head in the fast and furious show go trip. My friend TJ, he made it, he made it green. My boyfriend TJ, we built this club. Wait, wait, your boyfriend TJ? My boyfriend TJ. Oh my God.